Hi Avon Lake swimmers and divers, Coach Smith here. I just wanted to let you know that we have been waiting for word on when we could do a banquet and they finally said it's a no-go. So the coaches and I decided the best thing to do to wrap up the season and to show our respect and honor each one of you that we would do it in form of video banquet. Normally the girls being the conference champions this year would have a dinner and their own champions banquet. but that's gonna to have to go on hold for now and this is gonna to have to suffice. I feel awful about this and I appreciate each one of you for all you brought to the team this year, both the boys and the girls teams. Um, so without further ado, we will recognize each one of you, your accomplishments all added up to being one of the best seasons the Avon Lake swimming and diving team has ever had. And I can't tell you how how much I personally appreciate the effort, the hard work, and all the hours of dedicated athletic training that you've all put in um, to make this season such a great one for us in 2019-2020. Um, I just hope you're all staying safe and working out. There are so many ways to find alternate ways of swimming, and if anyone's interested and wants to come out and open water train with us this summer, send me a personal message. I'll be offering some short course open water swimming in the lake as soon as it gets warm. So without further ado, here are your recognitions. Hey guys, wish we could have seen you instead of having to do all of our awards like this, but hey, at least we got to finish our season. So that's something, right? And you all swam really awesome. Looking forward to next year. Cross your fingers and it'll be a go. Hey guys, happy 7,000th day of quarantine. I miss you all so much, your smiling faces, your hard work. I'm so sorry that you're doing this via my porch, um, but and I wish I could see you in person, but I hope that you all are staying well, you're working hard, you're running, you're doing some sort of aerobic activity, you're eating well, um, oh, bands, Dan's telling me bands, that you're doing your bands, um, but more importantly, that you're staying happy. I know it's hard when we're all locked in, so um, I'll look forward to seeing you all out and about soon, hopefully. Um, take care, and congratulations on an awesome season. Hey, Avon Lake Swimmers and Divers. Congrats on an awesome season. I really loved being part of the coaching staff and working with really fantastic student-athletes. Huge shout out to Michael for being the new school record holder. Good luck to Riley, Michael, and the rest of the seniors for next year and wherever your lives may take you. I'm excited for the talent that we have returning to the diving squad, but we need to recruit some more divers. There are some big shoes to fill. Stay safe and healthy and stay in shape this summer. Look forward to seeing everybody on the pool deck. Take care.
All right, our Boys Coaches Award goes to an athlete who from the beginning of the season knew what his goal time was and shot for it the whole time. And that was the most awesome thing that made him stand out for us. And he worked super hard to reach it and managed to get his varsity letter. So Boys Coaches Award goes to Nick Haven. All right, our girls most improved goes to a swimmer who started out not having a ton of endurance. She was able to sprint about 100 before we started worrying about her hanging on for very long. And by the end of the season, we realized that she was a really, really good distance swimmer. Um, this athlete dropped two seconds in her 100 free, four seconds in her 200 free, and a whole 18 seconds in her 500, even though she had no one to swim against at sectionals. So girls most improved, Jenna Kennedy. Two, go. All right, our boys most improved goes to an athlete who had a lot of technique things to learn over the course of the season. He really improved his backstroke flip turns and his backstroke finish and his regular flip turns for freestyle and was working on his breaststroke. Um, overall, he dropped a ridiculous amount of time in pretty much everything he swam. He had dropped three seconds in his 50 free, four seconds in his 100 free, 15 seconds in both the 200 and the 500, and 11 seconds in his 100 backstroke. So our boys most improved goes to Quinn Kroniker. The coaches award, um, one of the coaches awards, and it's going to Maggie Williams. Um, Maggie is a super hard worker who always is the first to be in the water, um, likes to get in, get her work done, um, and get out. Um, we also know she's a really hard comp competitor, or competes really hard, I guess I should say, um, because she keeps some trash cans. <laughs> so congratulations to Maggie. Thank you for being a team leader, for always stepping up when we need you at a meet for those points to win. Um, the best of luck to you next year, and we will miss you. Um, I'm doing the next two awards for Boys and Girls Gene Mills All In Award. Um, and it pretty much, that's what it says, um, that you're all in. He was um, instrumental in getting the swimming started at Avon Lake um, and has stayed involved in it. I think they said he was an Olympic time trial winner. Um, so the award basically speaks for himself. Um, one of our winners is Nate Thane. Um, Nate is a super hard worker. He's always asking for ways to improve, to get better. At a meet, he's 100% all in, giving his best effort, always wanting to get the best time, asking for why he didn't. So congratulations to Nate um, on your award. And then the girl is Emma Akuma, which I could just say ditto to what I just said about Nate. She's a super hard worker, um, a great teammate, always cheering on all the swimmers when she's not in the water swimming, um, always wanting to improve, always wanting to get that best time. Um, and congratulations, Emma, and good luck to you next year. We'll miss you as well. Hey, guys. So I wanted to give out the First Year Athlete of the Year Award as well as the Most Valuable Player Award, the MVP. For both the boys and the girls, this goes to someone who has performed above and beyond and had the highest point scoring as well as performed under some clutch circumstances and helped the team out in a way that made you stand out from everyone else. And we can appreciate how hard swimming and diving is um, in the winter. And all your dedication shows that you are the most valuable player by bringing home high points and some great performances. So the first year athlete of the year award for the boys goes to Joe Swain. Congratulations, man. And you had a great season as your freshman year, and you really performed well, and I think you have a lot of growth to come yet um, in swimming and in high school swimming will definitely be a step in the right direction for your career. So congratulations. For the girls, our first year athlete of the year goes to Zoe Weisson. Congratulations, and again, this is just a stellar athlete who sometimes very low-key and quiet, tends to perform very well, and pushes herself even when she doesn't think she can do it. We know you can. Congratulations. So for our MVPs, the boys MVP of the year, without question, is Will Moses. Congratulations, William. Great season this year. And I wish you personally the best of luck moving on into college and swimming and the rest of your career. And for the girls MVP, this was a close one, but it came down to points and performances overall. Our MVP for the girls, Southwest Conference champions, 
Katie Williams. Congratulations, Katie. You are definitely a champ as well as the rest of your team.